Hi, everyone. This week, I want to talk about the Etsy Up SEO presentation a little bit. Now, I saw I kind of skipped through the rest of it. And this Etsy Up thing is something that they have been doing for the last couple of years. It's supposed to like get you all excited about selling on Etsy. I'd be more excited if they actually enforce the policies of no resellers, but that's OK. Uh, but this presentation had one section in it about SEO. And since that's what I kind of talk about on this channel, I decided to go ahead and look at that. I already went wild on it in the eShop Success Mastermind that we do every week in my program, but I calmed down a little bit. And the main thing that I have that's a problem with this is that, you know, it, it's just a generic presentation. They didn't really say anything useful or new or insightful. And, you know, I don't expect them to really explain the whole process of search because it's a little more complex than they have time for in a 20 minute interview. But there were a couple things in there that I have no doubt, and I've already seen a little bit of this, that people are going to take and twist and misinterpret and think that things are really important when they're not. So the first thing, well, actually, there's one interesting thing that they said is that for the descriptions where Etsy has said, we're using descriptions for SEO now. They said that they're using the first 150 characters of the description, which is just a little bit longer than the title. And the title space is 140 characters, so 150 characters is not that much. So they're using that, but they're not using it for keyword ranking. They're not using it to rank your listings. They're using it more for the browse ranking where they're looking at customer behavior and linking customer profiles to certain types of trend, like, you know, like colors or styles or, you know, what does that customer like? And we're pulling that from the first part. Well, you could get that information from the attributes. You could get it from the keywords. So I'm not worried about the descriptions. If Etsy is only using the first 150 characters of the description, then that's not very much. And I'm not going to worry about that. So that was the one thing that I wasn't 100% sure of. And now they've confirmed that. So description's no big deal. All right. The other thing that they said is they kept talking about Google finding your Etsy shop. Google does not find and index Etsy shops individually or individual listings in, at, in Google search results very often, like 99.999999% of the time, it's going to be an Etsy market page that comes up in a Google organic search result. Now, the reason that Etsy wants us to optimize anything for Google is so that they can know what to put on Google for offsite ads, and it helps, it helps Etsy out to know what kind of market pages to put together. Now, a market page is a page on Etsy that's basically a search result page but they put these together so that when someone clicks on something on Google, they come to an Etsy page that has a search result and a lot of things to look at, as opposed to just one listing. It doesn't help Etsy if people are on Google and they search for women's necklace and they come to a listing and it's one necklace. Etsy wants people to see a lot of stuff so that they'll buy something. And it probably isn't going to be what they clicked on to begin with if it's just a single listing. So Etsy puts these market pages together and they present these to Google. It's kind of something, it's a whole thing. But if you go to Google, you can see this for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go to Google and search for anything that you would be buying. So a buying intent keyword, so a product. Let's just search for what you sell. See what comes up. And if it says etsy.com slash market, that's a market page. If you click through there, it'll take you to Etsy and that keyword or a different keyword that's similar will be at the top and that's the market page. But it's Google, re, Google just really does not rank in organic search on the first page, your listings or your shop, unless you sell something so bizarre and weird that it can't find it anywhere else. And there's not enough for Etsy to put a market page together. And that has, that has happened to me sometimes. But don't worry about Google for Etsy. Just worry about Etsy on Etsy. Worry about Google search for your website if you have a website. And don't don't worry about that too much. So all the you know the Google stuff just kind of is a just a monkey wrench. It throws that into the works and kind of messes things up. The important thing that I wanted to to bring forward here is the question about conversion rate that happened about six minutes and ten seconds in. Now I went in and listened to this again, and I will put the link in the description so that you can go and watch this yourself. It's about six minutes and ten seconds, and the interviewer asked the two of them, the two guys from the search teams. Well, how does conversion rate play into search placement? Okay. Now the Google rep said nothing. It, it, Google doesn't look at conversion rate on Etsy. Google doesn't care. Google's looking at other things. It doesn't check your conversion rate because it doesn't have access to the checkout. So it doesn't care. Etsy, 
he says, it's so important. Okay, now the question was, and this is what's going to confuse people, and it's what people are going to be pointing at who did not listen and are saying, I told you conversion rate was important. She asked, how does conversion rate play into Etsy search placement? He says, conversion is so important. He's talking about conversions in his answers, which is sales, all right? And he's talking about it on a listing level. When you go into your shop dashboard on Etsy and it says your conversion rate, that's for your whole shop. That's looking at how many people came to your shop and how many people bought things after they came to your shop. That's the whole shop conversion rate. Etsy doesn't use that in any meaningful way. They, if, if at all, I mean, they, they look at sales on individual listings and that's what he was talking about. He wasn't talking about conversion rate. He was talking about conversions, which in Etsy's language is sales. So if you sell something, he says, that's a really good way to tell Etsy that customers like this product. We've known this. We know that if something sells, Etsy puts it to the top of search for a while. And it's always been that way. This is not new information. The problem that I'm seeing is, that's going to happen here is that people are going to hear her question, what is conversion rate and how does that affect Etsy search? And his first response is, it's so important. And he talks about listings and selling individual items. It's not answering the question that she posed. And he also was talking about how when you sell things, you might get the coveted star seller badge. And I personally am coveting the day when they get rid of that or they stop giving it to people who are selling junk from Alibaba. Everything that he said in his answer was more about how customers perceive things that sell well and they come to your shop and see the best seller badge or they see the star seller thing and then that might make that customer want to buy from you instead of someone else. It had nothing to do with conversion rate and everything to do with sales and the badges that Etsy puts up if you sell something, a specific listing. So just go back and listen to that for yourself. And then if someone out in the wild says Etsy uses conversion rate, they don't. All right. So it that, that conversion rate in your shop dashboard, don't worry about it. They're much more looking at individual listings and how those sell because we that's how they've always done it. It's how they've always done it. So the rest of it was basically saying, be accurate with your titles. Don't use the same keywords over and over. And, you know, I've, I've already seen people misinterpreting this, saying this proves that you only need to use the auto suggest search bar. What? There's stuff that people have, you know, I... I wasn't even going to listen to this, but then I saw that there was a specific SEO part. And I said, you know, I know people are going to mess this up and they're going to misinterpret it and they're going to use it for nefarious purposes to try to get people to think that they know what's going on. Basically, be accurate with your keywords. This is what they said. Use the whole title space. Use all your tags. Don't try to trick the search engine. Try to help it out by saying what your listing is and you'll be fine. And I think I've been saying that. And I will use that for my nefarious purposes to say, I've been saying that. Don't try to trick the search engine. Help it. Be accurate. Use all the information you can. Fill the space up. Use the whole title. All right? Leave me any questions, and I will talk to you later.